Hello friends, so here we'll establish the relationship between thermal expansion coefficients alpha and gamma that is linear expansion coefficient and volume expansion coefficient. Previously we did it for alpha and beta. So again, uh, just a quick thing, linear expansion which is basically along one dimension, suppose a rod or any you know linear object it is at an initial temperature ti and initial length li it is heated to a final temperature tf and as a result of this its length increases to final length lf so this is change in temperature and change in length okay and the increase in length is given by this alpha li delta t it is directly proportional to the initial length and the change in temperature alpha is the proportionality constant the final length which is expressed as the initial length plus increase in length that is given by li plus alpha li delta t or taking li common which is equal to li into 1 plus alpha delta t okay and this is the coefficient of linear expansion delta l by li delta t unit is degree Celsius inverse or Kelvin inverse. This is linear expansion along one dimension. Volume expansion, let us say we have an object, let us say a cube which is at an initial volume Vi at an initial temperature Ti. It is heated as a result of which it acquires a final temperature Tf and because of volumetric expansion it acquires a final volume Vf. This is the change in temperature final minus initial and change in volume final volume minus initial volume. So the change in volume or increase in volume again it is given by this gamma Vi delta T. It is proportional to the initial volume and the change in temperature or the increase in temperature and gamma is the expansion coefficient volumetric expansion coefficient. The final volume is given by initial volume plus the change in volume which is expressed as this Vi into 1 plus gamma delta T taking Vi common and this is the volumetric expansion coefficient. Up to this we are clear. Now let us say we have to establish a relationship between alpha and gamma. So everything stays the same. We have taken a cube of side Li here. Okay each of these edges you know they have lengths li okay so let us say we have to determine its volume so its initial volume will be simply li cube okay now the cube is heated to a temperature tf final temperature tf as a result of which the cube's side the length of the cube side it also changes as per this relationship okay lf is equal to li into 1 plus alpha delta t so the same here lf is equal to li into 1 plus alpha delta t so the final volume can be calculated as per this vf is equal to lf cube lf expressed as this li into 1 plus alpha delta t whole cube so we you know we take this in separate ways we take li cube separately and 1 plus alpha delta t cube separately li cube is nothing but the initial volume okay initial volume which is expressed here vi and then using the formula a cube plus a plus b whole cube that is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square that we expand this 1 plus alpha delta t whole cube that is a cube 1 b cube alpha cube delta t cube 3 a square b that is 3 into 1 square into alpha delta t that is 3 alpha delta t and 3 a b square 3 into 1 into b square that is alpha delta t whole square 3 alpha square delta t square okay so this is the expansion now I have always, always said that alpha value is very small okay the alpha value is very small so these high
higher power terms of alpha they are neglected okay because they are very small and they contribute nothing to the overall you know value so we can neglect it for approximation so now we are left with vf is equal to vi that is initial volume into 1 plus 3 alpha delta t but here we established that vf is equal to vi into 1 plus gamma delta t both essentially mean the same thing okay they are expression of final volume it is in terms of volumetric expansion coefficient gamma and this is in terms of linear expansion coefficient alpha so both they essentially they mean the same thing so here we have to establish a relationship between alpha and gamma so from these two expressions comparing these two we know or we you know we clearly see that gamma is equal to 3 alpha that is the volume expansion coefficient is 3 times the linear expansion coefficient or we can also express it as alpha is equal to gamma by 3 ok this is the uh, relationship between alpha and gamma ok gamma is equal to 3 alpha or alpha is equal to gamma by 3 ok now we have got beta is equal to 2 alpha and gamma is equal to 3 alpha this is the relationship between linear and surface expansion coefficient this is the relationship between linear and volume expansion coefficient so we can you know combinedly we can write it as alpha is equal to beta by 2 which is equal to gamma by 3 ok alpha is equal to beta by 2 and also alpha is equal to gamma by 3 so beta by 2 is equal to gamma by 3 that is we can write beta is equal to 2 gamma by 3 or gamma is equal to 3 beta by 2 ok anyway so here we have established relationship between the three uh, expansion coefficient ok linear expansion coefficient alpha surface expansion coefficient beta and volume expansion coefficient gamma ok so this is the relationship overall relationship okay